Hi Pisces, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and um, welcome to your weekly reading for the uh, 9th till the 15th of March 2020 and if you haven't subscribed yet it would be lovely if you would, I would be grateful and it is also very handy for yourself. Um, I didn't say click the bell, but if you would like to click the bell to be notified, then click the bell when you've subscribed. If you don't click the bell, then you won't get subscribed, but your video or this channel will be saved in your library and then it is easier to find this channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot, again. If you would like to see the website, then just down here in the corner, you have a little circle, white circle. If you click on that, it will take you to the website for the updates that are coming as well. Okay, I've just done a review on a new deck that will be uploaded to the website as well. It's easier to find it there. Um, then uh, go to the playlists on YouTube. It is on YouTube and I've also got um, the crystal ball. I have a smoky quartz. Isn't that delightful and beautiful? I am lucky enough to be spoiled by my sister to have this crystal ball. You can see quite a bit of things in a crystal ball. It's also um, my intuition working and psyche working over time. So let's get started with your crystal ball reading and it is a, an introduction if you would like a reading a, a longer reading with a crystal ball then please contact me i'm seeing rainbows for you um, and that means that somebody on the other side is either protecting you or getting into contact with you letting you know that earth and heaven are here at the moment so if it is raining today with you or you see a rainbow even if it is through a prism like a crystal ball then they are sending you a message that they are hearing what you are saying and they're all right i'm also seeing um the letter p i don't know what that means parking perhaps have you got issues with parking p <laughs> i don't know why it is just something that i'm seeing i'm sorry crystal balls i um uh, you know they're all different for everybody it, it's your energy uh, remember this is a general reading um yeah i don't know I, I don't i find it difficult to explain how it works but it does I also see a triangle. I see a triangle, which is um, actually sprouting leaves. It's like a palm tree. Are you going on holiday? Um, three, I get the word three. Are you going away with three people? Uh, perhaps you passport ticket an itinerary. Perhaps that could be, that's coming through as well. You might be going to a warmish country, a warmish country. Um, shapes are very important to you too. Um, could be a diamond. It could be, I'm seeing a sort of like different facets, not of the crystal itself, but it's like a typical um, solitaire. solitaire. It's like a diamond engagement. Perhaps there might be an engagement with you. Um, I'm getting also a feeling fire, fire, fire. I don't know why I get the feeling fire. You might even be moving home um, to a warm country. Um, also fire. I don't know why I'm seeing a Christmas tree with lights. Did you get engaged or did you meet somebody at Christmas? Then you might be getting engaged um, with a fire sign. And I also see an S, very, very clearly a capital S. There is a sign. Well, we started off with a sign, the um, 
rainbow. Rainbow. Quarter, quarter. So it could be happening this month, not this week. Quarter, because, or oh, quarter, quarter, quarter. Quarter. Definitely, there is a balance coming together. I also see two, it's like a split and two facets are coming together. Two people coming together. I definitely think you might be traveling to the, perhaps the south of Europe or Africa. Sim, um, the, I saw an S and I'm getting the word simultaneously. Um, perhaps you were thinking of going on holiday um, or you might be immigrating and simultaneously you will start off this, tra um, this journey with a holiday and then live there. And I, I also get quarter, quarter, um, four, quarter is four of a year. So you might be going away for four months or you will be going away this quarter or for four years. Something has been mapped out for you. Uh, I also see a card, a card, a map. Something has been mapped out. Itinerary, this is the same thing. Um, have you been planning this in stages? In four stages? Something is coming around. I also see a square. Something has proper foundations. You're moving upwards and forwards to proper foundations. You might be, yeah. Fire is warmth, sun. So you could be meeting a fire sign or you might be going together with a fire sign. The P, 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 um, it's prominent. That's what I'm getting with the word P. Something is prominent. There is action coming. There is action being undertaken. The plans are coming to fruition. The plans are coming to fruition. You've got victory. You might have victory in love. You might have victory in getting your idea across. And the plan is coming together. That's it. The plan is coming together. I have to note that down. So you might might have planned this travel for a long time and you've done it in let's say four stages so you might have uh, got a job done and earned enough money and you've been saving for a long time and yeah you might have got a tax return that you didn't expect You've got news coming as well, perhaps about a tax return. So now you've got the uh, enough money in this quarter or the next quarter, uh, the fall. So I think it will be between now and the end of April that something is coming together. Your plans are coming to fruition. You're going to harvest. Wow. Okay, Pisces, I hope. Um, you enjoyed the crystal ball reading. Now we're going on to the cards and I've got new cards, so wait for it. Okay, Pisces, we're going on to the cards now. I'm just taking a little break after the energy of the crystal and this is your, going to be your reading for the 9th to the 15th of March. I love these cards. This is the Enchanted Dream Tarot. And that was by Yasmin Westwood. And she thanked me personally, which I was amazed at, for um, doing a review, such a beautiful review on this deck. One for midweek. Wow, we've got the moon. 
thumb and the moon you are standing in the spotlight and one be from between the deck and the ace of cups you're in your element Pisces wow and the six of pentacles and let's see what is underneath the deck um, you've got the death card so new beginnings it is getting dusky darker and I'll get my angel turn down light sorry I always work with the angels and I've got the new deck you might have seen the review the house of shadows and I'll put that there and I'm also working with the angel for the deck and Metatron okie dokie we've got the snake okay so forewarned is forearmed we've got the clover we've got the rider and we've got the tower well don't be too worried because you've got positive tarot cards and you've got the ghost there's five extra cards in this deck and i'm going to go through them and Hopefully this will resonate and connect with the crystal ball reading. Okay, let's bring them down a bit so you can see them clearly. And the art on them, they're all done by artists and authors. Okay, okay let's get started, Pisces. So number one, the 9th of um, uh, March, you have the sun look at that transformation definitely you're in your power look at the lion you're in your power and of course the sun means warmth you are standing in the warm light you're getting energy again it's becoming spring the butterflies are already coming out have you seen anything then that is a message from the angel angels it's a transformational period you might be moving home, you might be going on holiday to a warm country, a Leo might have an eye on you. Okay, new beginnings, you might be hearing of a birth, this could be a grandchild, this could be a child for yourself or from a friend. You might be finding out you're pregnant and the birth could also be a new job or a new project of a sort. On the sun you have the snake. And we all know what the snake means. A snake in the grass or an adder under the grass. Something is not quite right. Now here you see a little boy sitting in the book looking and reading. So look at the small print. Look at the small print. Don't be squashed or manipulated because a, a snake squashes, you know when he feeds don't get squashed in things don't let yourself be um, uh, manipulated don't feel beholden to anybody be careful of what people might say this could be be betrayal okay it could be also a female competitor according to the author of this deck definitely there could be jealousy around you somebody that might be jealous of you learning that well or always having time to go outside and read and relax perhaps because you can relax be careful what is happening behind your back leave slimy slithery people alone don't look back then just move forward okay so forewarned is forearmed you have got number seven though, so that means that um, you will have good luck on your side. Then we have the moon, the moon. So the moon means, um, the moon is represented by Pisces. So you might meet an other Pisces or be with an other Pisces or start a new face with a Pisces. You've got the pillars there. The angels are giving you a doorway. And it's also peaceful and you've got the white dove and the uh, pigeon the black dove or the gray dove so this is the opposites 
listen to your inner child, um, your, your conscious and your subconscious might be talking to you. That is considering emotions, uh, psychic. You might be psychic or you might meet another uh, somebody that's psychic and that is a Pisces, but you are in your element. There are things that you don't know that you need more information of. Um, you are in the spotlight and something is also being illuminated. Something is also being illuminated. So uh, that could be with regard to a question or uh, a situation. You need more information, my darling. Okay. It's getting lame. It's number 18. And so 18, 8 and 9 becomes... Um, um, eight and one becomes a nine. So an end of a phase is in sight. You might be um, very sensitive, especially with this Mercury retrograde, and you also might be getting new ideas when you meditate or contemplate, sit quietly. So listen to those new ideas, make a diary, or write your ideas down. You could be more emotional at the moment because you are going through a transformation. Wow, and you've got the clover. You might be also worried about money. I'll tell you why. Because we've got the money bag attached to the clover. So don't worry, your angels will be helping you. Perhaps if you step through this new beginning, the pillars, the portal of the angels, you might start getting a new job like this like the sun is also a spotlight and illumination again sorry i needed to take a drink of water because i do too much talking so i get a dry mouth look at this you've got a new beginning again confirmation you've got the ace of cups this could be something that you love to do or a, a new job that you love, a vocation, a career um, that you would like to do, that you love and that you're passionate about. This could be a health, health care, anybody like from social worker to a doctor to a nurse to a pedicurist, chiropodist, uh, taking care, nurturing, that is coming out in the forefront. Or you might be meeting somebody, like I said, a Pisces or a Leo. This could be a new love or a new passion. But remember, passion doesn't last. But perhaps you are in a relationship, uh, a passionate relationship now, and it will go up a step um, and turn into love. You've got number one, again, a new beginning. You've got the rider. And this is a spider, and another spider or some other monster on his back, representing the rider, messages, news. This could also be going on a visit or receiving visitors. So you might take a short break um, with your loved one. It will be quick and fast. And you might be getting a love uh, news, uh, a love letter or a card saying, I love you. I'll be there with you very, very shortly and very, very fast. Then at the weekend, we have the Six of Pentacles. And that means balance. And it also means that if you're less fortunate, you will get help from other people to transform you into this new beginning boom 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 new beginning luck is on your side sorry i'm uh, I, I just had to stop the video because i'm editing at the same time so there we go so to transform you into a butterfly and uh, not the caterpillar anymore so you might get a loan you might get a gift that could be also the news that your loan that you've applied for to do this study or to buy this house 
uh, this is by, um, doing a study, buying a house, the sum, uh, so that you can pay for it. Okay, or you might get a grant, you might get news about a grant. That will bring you back into balance, in wisdom and experience. And uh, not only, not mentally only, but also physically, something that you can touch that will bring you money in for the long term so that you, you can look after yourself. Now the tower in the Lenamon means ambition. You are ambitious, okay? And you see a ghost drifting and you see the flag. Well, when the flag is out in England, or in um, in Holland at the uh, at the royal house, that means that they are at home. So, um, in in Lenemon, um, the tower means ambition. Don't forget the people around you, mm. because when you reach the top, it could be very very lonely. You might want to uh, go into um, care because you've got two water um, cards, uh, cups. Uh, you might want to be more adventurous and be an executive, but don't isolate yourself and take care that you remember the people that support you whilst you're here. Doing this, make time for family and friends so that when you get to the top, you're not alone. You might also meet an, uh, a mature man, a, a, a man of authority. This could be a teacher. This could be an advisor. Like I said, you will, will be getting help. This could be the mature man that you're meeting. Because this, that is also the meaning of Monica, um, 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 Mon Monica's meaning interpretation, Bod Bodierski. That's the author of the deck. And you've got number 41. And as I said, there's um, uh, underneath the deck, and that's ghost. Ghost, you might be remembering people from the past. Perhaps this card says, remember people from the past as well. Not only the present. People that aren't here with us anymore. They would be proud of you being ambitious and starting this study and that you've got that far. Memories. This can also mean memories. How do your memories affect you? Whether you are nostalgic or haunted by the past actions, you need to access the ghost in your world. This card suggests that memories of your past are currently affecting how you see yourself in the world and may be preventing you from moving forward. Okay. Unrestricted living in the moment with gratitude is suggested. So be thankful for all the knowledge that you might have learned from the, a person from the past that isn't here anymore. You've got the ghost here as well. So that could be that you are remembering that somebody might have said to you, an older gentleman, this could be a father or a grandfather, you will, um, you will get to the top, just take your time. But this card is also a warning. Don't forget the people around you that exist. Now, otherwise you might be a ghost yourself, be lonely and just drifting in nowhere. I do have my own interpretations of, the, of cards in general. Uh, as my intuition starts working and also my own perception. Now the uh, uh, underneath card of the tarot of the, um, is death. There you go, we've got transformation, you've got, you're no longer the caterpillar, you are becoming the butterfly, and I've already said that before. So you've got butterflies in the beginning of the week, at the end of the week, and throughout the week, because the death is a new beginning, you're leaving old things behind. Do remember things 
nice things from your past, okay? You have, you know, that is life experience. And let go of the things from the past that were negative. Be careful of the snakes. Learn from your past. Now we're going on to the Angel Feather deck. And this is one of my favorites. It's a, like the answer of the angels. That is also one of my favorites. And you have the Orange Angel Feather Pisces. Choose to feel good. The angels ask that you let go of old emotions. Boom! The past. And memories. And emotional and any emotional pain from the past. When they are released, joy, joy will warm your heart. Now you can eat orange. You can wear orange. And you can meditate on orange. And orange is also the secretal chakra. And when you have this, um, if you have this card, the orange chakra, then you've got Archangel Gabriel. You can ask him for support and love. And this will, um, there is a special word, but I forgot what the word is. Um, oh, uh, you get your sex drive back. back. Um, in, uh, I forgot the word, I forgot the word, sorry guys and girls. So you might be feeling sexy at the end of the week or during the week. You are in the sunshine, Ooh, the spotlight, and the moon is also spotlight. New love, it could be a new love. Or going up a next level in your relationship. You might be going on holiday to just surprise your partner or just reinforce the joy and happiness that you have. And we've got let your inner child, inner child from Archangel Metatron, hear and know me. 36, again, a new beginning, an ending. So let your inner child come out. Um, be more playful. Enjoy. Let the warmth come into your heart and your um, um, your solar plex, your your um, happy chakra, your joy chakra. So open your heart and receive. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and take care. Please share and like. And remember, together we stand strong. So give us the thumbs up and please share with family and friends. And I'll see you in the next video or in the live sessions. Take care and be blessed.